No. We are not arms dealers. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is Life noted. Is Moving Speaking on. Soon. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. The Scorched, the Raiders, the Ghouls. If anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hawkman's problems are his own, not ours. That's everything. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Be vigilant, outsider. Greetings, civilian. Stay on your toes. The wasteland is merciless. The old world has so much to teach us. Why didn't I see it before? Just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night? Ford Atlas is in good hands. Nightshin's trained us well. No meat. Busy, civilian.
Hope those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Oh, a prospective initiate. The Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? Didn't even have to think about it, did you? Let me give you a quick rundown of the mission before we start. Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Any questions before we start? Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Everything makes sense now. Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. Tech down here is his handle. And he can Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. I don't envy the night. This looks like what we need.
It's a document. That should be enough to... Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to... show you any of this. Well, Night Shin did send you, so I guess I can trust you with a little information. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after. Looks like we've got company. Interesting. That does it for the inspection. Let's talk. Alright, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? Misaligned. Next, we have the release valve. That went... Well, what was your assessment?
It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Yep, I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay, well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well, so far. A fair point. We have a saying among the scribes. Through discourse, we gain strength. This wasn't discourse. It was a test. I can't blame you for being upset. I wanted to see if you would pay attention. And I have my answer now. Sorry if I angered you. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine core? That doesn't sound good. I capture a 
chance of success to be. Well, I don't want to be more. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is out of commission, but uh, I think with a little elbow grease, we'll get it working. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this Ultrasight? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? Fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but to think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? <laughs> Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate, and soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this Ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> Oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin.
Never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. Request for the Brotherhood should be passed through Night Shin. Ah, you must be the one I've been hearing about. Paladin Leila Romani, what do you need? If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get well, this list done. Between this and the report I have from Night Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first, I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make them see us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. Do I need to call a seminar on this? We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams that we passed on the way into the region. I think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. You should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supplies. Very well. Do this, and you will be one of us. With all the rights and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium. Things would be different now if Taggarty's unit had survived. I cannot believe these people are still. life. Gotta focus. <sighs> oh, hey. Quiet day on the radio network, I'm afraid. <laughs> 